Oh, 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 Miley Cyrus! She came out of nowhere. She's so bright. You should have known. She was greedy last time, in. and she's we greedy got this time. In. Oh, greed! All right, let's uh, let's firebolt this thing. Oh, get fucked! I think I killed like three of them. Holy shit! Ow! Uh, oh no! Actually, you're doing pretty good. Keep going. <laughs> Don't get, don't get left behind. I'm catching up. Go. Baby, where are you going? Baby! Wait, oh, God. I forgot to collect the thing. Get back here, crab! Crab, damn it! I will eat you. I swear to God, crab. Oh, he's somewhere. I can hear him groaning. He's grudging. Oh, he's on the stairs! Oh, shit! Oh! after a hiatus how are all of you it's 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 a Thursday I don't really creep trapped with that much right now vis-a-vis -vis. I really don't have a reason to um I hope everyone's doing well my apologies for being away if that was an inconvenience for your viewing pleasure uh I have been uh, working on getting, you know, work and trying to do other things with my time, work on projects and whatever that I have delayed and start new ones. Brand new to me project. Probably not new in the real world. To be honest, when I made the YouTube account for it, I found out there are a lot of other Similar products, I get projects, I guess. But hopefully, mine's the one that'll do it. That's the one that'll that'll land. Um, I have made a YouTube channel uh, using puppets instead of my face. Um, I don't think my face really works for the type of content I wanted to produce on said YouTube channel. So, uh, my camera's a little, needs to be a little bit more over here. Uh, so instead, what I decided to do was shove my hand in a furry, anthropomorphized sock and, uh, and use that as a platform for me to share my thoughts in a more safe and, you know, simplified manner. That way, you don't look at me when you hear the thoughts, you look at a puppet. You can form your own ideas on what the puppet says, and then you don't necessarily connect that the puppet is attached to me. And you can kind of just see it as its own individual content, its own singular thing and you can judge it for what it is rather than for what I am which is just trash garbage I am just awful so that being said I did prepare uh, I did prepare a thing today uh, let's see if I did it correctly uh, I'm gonna show you guys the, in, the the first episode of the puppet spiel I have three done but I'm going to start by releasing them weekly is what I think I'm going to do. I'm not going to, I'm going to avoid getting burnt out on each of these things. So we'll see how that, how that goes. Uh, where is it? Er, 
looks good. All right, so I'm going to hang back. Y'all, can I make this? Okay, well, you're just going to have background armored core noise is what you're going to have. Uh, yeah, so please watch the first episode. Feel free to uh, check out the channel, which I'll put the... I have a command. Command Dave. I really wish I understood why Dreamlabs Cloudbot puts a money symbol in front of every command, but uh, there it goes to the YouTube channel. You can find all the other stuff uh, around for it, and hopefully you enjoyed. If you do, please subscribe to the channel, tell people about it, help me get it off the floor. Hopefully it'll be more popular than my inept streaming. But give me a moment. Uh, give me a moment, and I will shut up, and you can watch. Thanks so much, folks. It's being a butt right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reopen everything. Uh, probably because I minimized it. Why is it, why is it hating this so much? It worked a second ago. Well, all right, we'll open it with a uh, media player, see if that works. God, that's the that's the other webcam. Wow, it's I'm just bad. bad at it. Hey there. I'm uh I'm Dave. So my therapist told me I should try to communicate more about what bothers me. Now, I don't know if this is exactly what they had in mind, but it's what I'm doing. Mostly because I don't like going outside and... Well, most of the stuff that bothers me is on the internet anyway. So, I'm gonna use my little digital soapbox here to talk about weird happenings. Internet stuff and social things. Like how all the guys at the gym look like they decided to do an impromptu cover of Eminem's The Real Slim Shady, featuring dudes from TikTok. I guess it's worth noting, you might see my graphic design video editing intern, Ken. He gets paid with exposure. No, Ken, I hear you, I hear you, man. Listen, I get that making fun of the broccoli haircut is kind of like picking low-hanging fruit, but in my defense, broccoli is a vegetable. There you go. That's kind of what I've been working on here for a little bit. Here, uh oh, wrong thing again. Screen capture off, game capture on.
So yeah, that's what uh, that's something I've been working on. In conjunction with some other stuff, also being mildly sick for a little bit as well. But if you if you like that, if you think that's something that you might want to watch, please head over to that YouTube channel and to its its Twitter account and its it's that there's a Facebook page that I made. Uh, check that stuff out. Uh, follow it and say hi. Comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff for YouTube. And yeah, I mean, I really appreciate it. That's what I'm, that's the kind of tone I'm going for with it. And I've got, like I said, I've got some stuff lined up. So for the first couple of weeks, we're going to have something to come out uh, each week. And we'll see how it, I say we, it's just me. I'll see, how, I'll see how it goes. And hopefully it's something that I can, I can do. It's not, it's not in incredibly difficult to film and edit. It does take time. Editing always takes time, uh, but it's something that I I think I can fairly like fairly well consistently do. But yeah, that's that's my next big thing that I'm working on. So please do if you if you like it, please go check it out. Ugh. And if it's not your thing, then it's not your thing. You don't have to patron it. You don't have to watch it. All right, it's been. I don't play this game off stream, so. By God, I hope I can remember how to do it. Uh, uh, I don't know, it's just, just... Nozak. Uh, yeah, sure, let's see, let's see if I can do it. This'll, this'll help me get back into it. Back into the groove, yo. I went bowling today. Did a 123. I got uh, four spares, and I almost got a turkey. I got, I got strike on the last bar, bar number ten. I got strike, strike, seven. Subject AC. Better promise. Call I, I haven't gotten a, a turkey yet, and that that was really close. But nope. Just commencing evaluation. Just an X-rated 007 film. That's all I got. Main system activating combat mode. Okay. Touche. Then we get going. Whoa! Oh, he's got like shock. Punk! Oh, I got. I, okay, I've got my big cannon. Here's my rocket machine. My rocket stuff. Sword is on the left. Left bumper is change the left weapon. Do that. Da, da, da. And then I think up is my repair, but it doesn't look like the game's giving me one today. On this. It's over. You can't win. I have the high ground. I don't, but it's a figure of speech. Boom! Oh, I did the thing that one guy was doing to me the whole time. I dodged straight into his, his into his cannon. Yeah, yeah, I'm the best. F your cars. What are these hybrids? Get out of here. <laughs> Actually, that one that one kind of looks like the one of those kind of looked like the Tesla truck. Yeah, give me your emblem. I'm the bitter promise now. Jump. There's a good chance we'll get. There's a half decent chance we'll get the Kazakim in here. It looks like he's home. There's a good chance he'll show up. Maybe he's hooked up his new audio system. That I felt I I was at our local music place and I found there was a, they had a huge an eight line uh, eight line Behringer mixer and I sent a picture of it to him while he's at work and he's like, I need that. So I picked it up for him so he could grab it on his way home. I don't know if he set it up yet. Uh, the V meter link. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program. Oh, Number this 25. place. Are you going to be invisibles? Oh, no, he's got bubble guns. Subject God, I hate AC. the bubble guns. Call sign B6 meter link. 
Mater link. That's the Commencing human sense. Evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Oh, I hate the bubbles. Oh, I unlocked from him. No bubbles. I hate your bubbles. Oh, I got him, but he got me with something. Oh, it's rich. Oh, I got you, boo. I got you, boo boo. Got me. He's got freaking. I hate those stupid bubbles. Oh, I was kind of. Wasn't fully charged up yet on the on the big gun. He's got that shield, so he's doing some work. He's doing the Lord's work out here. Oh, we, we traded. We traded big blasts on that one. That wasn't ideal. No, I got him with the sword, though. Oh, come on. Oh, it was close. It was close. I got some chip damage on him. Ah! You just dodged my bull crap. Saucy Target mama. Destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Anticipate. Make sure that when, if and when he pops in, he's immediately watching the show. Watch him out. tuning what was I putting stuff into hey so that's something I wait control Bay. That's the thing that I've got on the left side. Kick. Kick. I think I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, air kits. Ooh, let's, let's... Got some more arena. Let's do all the arena moves. Evaluation program number 24 rank E rank E for effort, baby. Oh, he, he's got two big Subject old. There's a bit like grenade Call launchers. Little Ziggy. <laughs> Little Ziggy. Commencing evaluation. This robot looks familiar, like a, like a toy that I've had or a friend has had. It was big, chunky launchers. Oh, come on! Give me something to work with here, you. Ah. Oh, no, I, I thought I had a good angle. I thought I had an angle on my dodge.
Yeah, I gotcha. Got your ass. Kind of missed that opportunity a little bit. system that I'm going to nuke him in the face. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love this big dumb cannon. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Evaluation is dope AF, my bro. Way to go, hot stuff. You're mine, you big dumb box. This asshole looks like they're copying me. They want to be no. I am the most Arena purple. Combat aptitude evaluation program. They've got the they've Number got the, the legs. Rank e. Final evaluation. Final rank E evaluation. Subject AC. Guidance. Ooga Booga. Call sign. <gasps> Ooga Booga. He's here. Commencing evaluation. Quiet main system. Activating combat mode. It's the littlest voice. <laughs> oh, I love my big dumb cannon. My favorite is the face. Come, big boy. You want to dance with me? You're going to have to learn how to tango. Strafe. Strafe. My turn! Oh crap, I missed it. I hit the wrong button. No, big cannon! Activate! Big cannon! <laughs> I messed that up. I planned it so well and then I executed like a donkey. AP at 50%. Your mom's AP is at 50%. Oh, ah! oh my god! My crisp purpley boy. Look what they've done to my boy. My boy. I just strewn his robotic intestines across the mountainside. But I want it to be the most purple. Not to be. It was not to be. It wasn't. Main system. I can beat this guy. He's just a chump. This is like a melee death match. Yeah, there's a little little side things you can do. Side piece. Bice. Side pieces. Everyone loves a good side piece in a video game. I've always appreciated a solid side piece. Mm. Oh, I got you with my big gun, buddy. What'd you do with a side piece? Was 
there. Almost ready for the finishing blow. Give it to me. Break his stamina. Hiya! <laughs> oh, I jacked you up, my man. Target chump. Target destroyed. The best purple. This concludes E rank evaluation. Well done. There can only be one purple. Uh, and I will be the most purple. I am I'm not the talking most purple. About, there shall be no violet. There shall be no mauve. It'll only be me. Purple. Mauve. Mauve. Great mauve. Nine OST chips. Time to cash in my OST chips. For more OST. Incoming cars. Oh no. I don't want them though. Congratulations. You have surpassed rank E. Hell yeah. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. Hmm. All mind exists for all mercenaries. I'd like to go over your future company goals. Uh, you're required to set three. Oh, no, I don't want to know about that. I hate setting company goals. Set company goals. No. All right, let's see. I wanted to get this terminal armor. Like a free revive. A free revive. And damage mitigation by 3%. Good. Kinetic damage plus... Which one is my big gun? Energy damage. I don't really use energy damage. Melee damage is up. Let's just put the fire in control so my my, my pew pew does better stuff. Which one is currently equipped? Man, I got some great timing. Walked into this hell tide with 18 seconds left. Good job, me. Nailed it. So smart. Great, now what am I gonna do? This thing. Or Turner. Alright. Or Turner. Line the comparison thing. Holy shit, it's so fucking expensive. That's nearly all of my money. <laughs> nearly, but not all. Oh, never. Oh, I read it wrong. <laughs> it, I read it wrong. It was, uh, it was, I'm gonna spend a hundred thousand on it, and I'll have 1.8 million dollars left. <laughs> no, not, okay. not that it costs <laughs> 1.8 million dollars of my 1.9 million dollars. All right, now I see. Assemble. Okay, so this it's heavier, but it also does more. Damage. It is more impact. Somehow, damage and impact are different things. Probably. The amount of health damage and the amount of stamina damage it does. And now I need Sippy. I didn't tell you, uh, and it doesn't matter now because it's fixed, but when I set up all the stuff for Dave... Oh, don't worry. I saw the post. I was following the socials. Yeah, it's fixed the... now. They, they fixed it today, and I got oh. back in, and everything's better. 
But yeah. So they didn't they didn't believe you, is what they're saying. Well they're no, like, so the, this is so spam. Yeah, they they I set it up so effectively and with such gusto that they're like, this is obviously a bot that just made an account that is now making a bunch of accounts on other websites and stuff. So mm. this is a bot. We should shut it down. No. <laughs> what <laughs> I just it's I wish I could talk to somebody in real life about it but because it's no. a robot that assumed that and then someone else <laughs> had to validate that it wasn't actually spam but it's just it was, it's literally a YouTube channel about a puppet it was a bot assuming that you were a bot <laughs> no 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 you're the bot that's not that's that not a human that's a that's puppets are bots calculating you are bot I am the real, you are the bot. No, yeah. no, I'm the real one. Only a bot would say they're the real one. I am the real bot, but I'm the bot bot. Best part is this isn't the first time something like this has happened to me. I'm so viciously efficient that, that computers think that I'm faster than computers. Mm. That on your resume. Yep. I've been tagged as a bot by multiple things because I work too good. Yes, you can work for some sort of company. I don't know, like a Google. Well, I finished an application to Forbes today. <laughs> Forbes magazine? Yeah. Company, mm. it, I got, it wasn't even really my job spec. I got, it was like, hey, you might be good for this job. It's like, mm, sure. But it was Great. like, it's like as a, as a tr review person for hotels and restaurants. I had to oh. write a single page anyway, paper about you made this mess, about a restaurant, hotel, or other thing well, that I experienced to make it make whatever. I was like, I'll do it. I don't care. <laughs> so is that a, you then have to travel around to find other things? or was Sounds it just... like it would be, yeah. Because mm. they were asking about having passports and stuff. Mm. Sounds sure. sexy. You guys want to so. send me a way to eat someone else's food and write about it? Sure, whatever. Yeah. And then, and then you guys get you guys take the backlash when they find out that I'm not an actual writer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's a random space work voice in my head. There's some random coral bullshit AI thing in my brain right now. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've touched the game. Robot Cortana is in my head. Rotom. No. Let's get rolling, Taurus. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. Oh. Okay. So it's a single shotgun, and then I can charge it and burst fire it. Okay, never mind. That might not be. That might not be my kind of my kind of jam. Mm. I kind of just want to hold it down and let them shoot a lot. Peters, I hear you. Yes, yes. He's... He's giving the song of his people in the background. He knows. He knows nothing. <laughs> he knows not what he do. So where are you going, by the way, again? I am going to the voluptuous land of Holland, Michigan. <laughs> Holland, Michigan. Yes. Wow, that started out great. <laughs> got really, really bad, really fast. That's... Curb your expectations. <laughs> they might still have hookers. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely do. <laughs> Chicago is on the opposite side of the lake that I will be next to. I know for a fact it will be. And it will be frigid and cold. <laughs> and I know this because the lady that I'm going out to see for this factory acceptance test told me, oh, if you stay at this hotel, it's close to downtown. You told everybody? It's a factory yes. acceptance test. Mm. Yes, I'm accepting. <laughs> Keyword, it's short for fat. I'm going to a fat. Uh, well, it's, I was just saying, it sounds like you just became very bougie and you're like, mm, now I can go take a plane for a date. <laughs> yes. Um, so she was telling me, she's like, you should stay at, at this hotel. And I was like, okay, why? She's like, because it's close to like the bars and the things in the downtown and the sidewalks heated. And I'm like, 
the sidewalk's heated. That is what you wanted me to know. <laughs> oh, the bars are close by to the hotel. Great. Also, the sidewalk's heated. Why is the sidewalk heated? Because oh, because terrible. it's frigid out here. And because we figured, it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead of, I don't know, paying people to shovel the sidewalk, we'll just thaw the sidewalk out. Well, I mean, Great. hear me out. That's what I would do if I was in charge. But just the, the fact yeah. that she's like, and the sidewalk as... as no, it, it a, makes sense of why the sidewalks would be heated. But that shouldn't be the selling point. Of yeah, the that's, that's what I was getting at. It's the... It's the is that here's the bars, the museum, the sea, the heated sidewalks, the what? <laughs> oh, you oh run? Hold on. You just kind of slipped that in there. What the what the what? The what? <laughs> They're like, how are they heated? With, with the blood yeah. of the homeless? What's going on here? Yes. Is it hooker blood? Is that what it is? That that the tenuous connection to Holland. When you say the sidewalks are heated, do you mean that there's just hookers there that will keep you warm? Yes. <laughs> That's the kind they of, happen to be on the sidewalk. Some kind of Las Vegas in the apocalypse marketing. We're not a desert anymore, it's cold. The hookers will keep you warm. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, yes. That was the whole job? What the? It's my turn to help you. Your turn to help me? Are you going to give me a roby hand job? Okay, that was a really easy job. Really simple. You you don't need any help with the the meow meow while you're away. Oh no no no, that thing's fine. I just I leave her two bowls of food and a fresh litter box and a fresh water, and she's fine. She's fine. She's she's built for built for, for many many days of <laughs> yes. of lonesome from a survival sta standpoint from an emotional damage standpoint however she <laughs> it's always <laughs> i come back to much meow <laughs> she's like look i don't want to give you affection but god damn it i want you to be here at least it's about having someone in the building <laughs> okay i have an unnatural need to be affectionate to you it's not personal, and frankly, I hate every every second about it. <laughs> yes, but having said that, I'm angry. Just, just know that I'm angry, and I don't understand my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want. I want to be happy you're here, but I'm mad that you're I gone. Want... But I'm mad when you're here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm mad about everything you do. <laughs> There's no right answer here. You are wrong. All that, all shapes, forms, whatever. It's fine. Okay. Well, still yeah, this is this, is this is this is definitely you know I've, this is a typical amount of time that I feel comfortable leaving her without having yeah. someone to investigate. You gonna you gonna give me a little cheat sheet for the Peters? <laughs> oh, it's very simple. Um, <clears throat> he'll wake up. <laughs> And he will tell you he needs to go outside, and you will let him outside. And then, what he will do is eventually he'll come back in. <laughs> and um, when, when he you, comes back in after going door, to the bathroom, a bell he ex the door. no, you don't need a bell. You just show him where the door is and tell him that we're going out, or ask him if he needs to go outside. And he'll, he'll lie. Um, he'll lie. <laughs> So it's it, yeah, it's wake up first thing, let him out. He'll go do outside stuff, and then he expects that there's breakfast in the bowl when he comes back. Oh god! <laughs> 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 and and then then you provide him breakfast, and he will look at you, and look at the breakfast, and look at you, and also look at the breakfast, and you say, yeah, go ahead, eat your breakfast, and he'll go. I'm not sure that I want to eat the breakfast. I'm like, no, you were eating the breakfast because, because that's what you want. What you need. And then, th then he will eat the breakfast. <laughs> and then what he'll probably do is say, "I need to go back outside again." Like, do you, do you need to go back outside, or do you just want to go back outside and terrorize the neighbors? Hmm. No, I, I I need to go outside. So. Usually let him back outside, and then he's he just hangs out all day. And then what would normally happen is is when I get home 
first thing I do is I let him directly outside to go to the bathroom because I've left him for all of the day. And then when he comes back from doing a number one or part of, partial number two, he's <laughs> the expecting stage of number two. <laughs> he's he's expecting there to be food in the bowl. <laughs> okay, for dinner. It sounds basically exactly like Jackie, except I don't let Jackie out. <laughs> yeah. He just yeah. All right, you wake up. It, you feed me now. I did. When you wake food. up, yep, yeah, yeah. When you wake up, you let him out. You bring him back in. He eats the food. He may want to go out again. Periodically, he may want to go out. And then, and, it, and it's like the breakfast time. It's never like he doesn't really understand it's a specific time necessarily. I think he has a rough idea. Dinner time, though, he's very aware <laughs> that they're very astute with. Oh, God, but this, this, like, I'm getting shot from above. <laughs> but generally, I'm feeding him sometime around seven o'clock, seven thirty, and for breakfast, and then feeding him dinner sometime around. I usually try to do five o'clock. Okay, perfect. That's when Jackie gets fed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, easy he's, money. He's pretty straightforward. It's pretty, and it's pretty and it's it's one scoop of the scooper. It's fine. Easy money. Pretty straightforward, Doge. Yes. And then you, you know, he'll Ow. go to hop on your computer, and he will probably try to be around you. As he does. And I'll provide him with a dog bed and toys, so he'll have he'll have those things. I'm oh, yeah, not entirely he's... positive if I'm doing this mission right. <laughs> Shot from the sky. Well then, easy peasy. Easy peasy dap and easy. Woof, woof. <clears throat> have you, um, at this point, have you given up on Diablo 4? For less. this season or for yeah. the eternity? For this season. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I'm sure it'll get better later, but it's just, I get to 50 and then it's like, the hell am I even doing? <laughs> yeah, because it's yes. it's it's for for whatever reason the I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's just not as fun doing the same thing over and over again as it is in Diablo three. I don't know what it what it's it is. because it's it's the time that it takes you to do the same thing over and yeah, over again. It's probably that because just, like yeah. we're we're essentially doing similarly to what we do in D3, it just takes us for fucking ever to get it to the point where we can do them and it, it doesn't take 17 yeah. hours to do one task. Yeah. And then and then it gets to the point where like, I'm just, I just end up following people around. I never feel like I'm actually winning. It's just, yeah. it's just, am, am I actually doing the damage or is someone else actually doing the damage? And when I last looked, the, the, the list that I made for my uh, for my necromancer had been downgraded to B tier. I was like, I don't have the <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've not the, the the attention span to get up to figure out what else I should be doing here. Yeah, Becca and Joe are playing barbarian this season with me as also a barbarian. So you got three typically. barbarians. Yes, <laughs> um, and so barbarians are actually. They're really good this season, even though they got some nerfs. They're still really good because it's like they they made changes to the charge aspect, like the skill and everything like that. They like upped it by like nine hundred percent damage because before it was like nothing more than a mobility skill that no one ever felt they needed. But now you can be mobile and do damage, and so it clears the trash out, which is good. And then you can still big bump the bosses, and but it's just I think it's just it takes barbs are like probably they're not the worst for that leveling aspect, but they are second worst. <laughs> the druid is worse to level than the barbarian, but it's still kind of a pain. But once you get to a certain threshold, it very quickly changes and you get extremely powerful. Like, I, I went from, let's see, what did I, I was, I was at the point where all three of us could not kill Duriel. 
I could. It took forever to kill like Varshan mm -hmm. and Gregor. I didn't even want to attempt Lilith, and then I couldn't. I could not beat the seasonal Uber boss for this season. And then I got like one or two different weapons, and all of a sudden it was like, ah, I can two shot Duriel by myself. And I can one shot Marshawn and the other guy now. And I can actually one shot Lilith, but they changed something with her stupid, like, elementally floaty nastiness. And it just instantly kills me. So they, just, they did some stupid stuff. But Barb's have been fun this season. And there's probably a. You're doing a Necromancer, right? Yeah, I did a Necromancer. And th there is a version of that that I think is good, but I, there's, there's still problems with the Necromancer. I mean, it was enjoyable as I got to do it, but it's just at a certain at reach that end point. I'm like, do I really? What am I? What am I getting out of this? And I didn't feel like I was getting anything out of it. Anymore. I, just, I I I don't appreciate that. That's the way I feel. I'm not being spiteful about it, because I'd rather really enjoy the game. But it's just that I get to a certain point. I'm like, well. And now I just spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours feeling inadequate. Yeah, we, I mean, we could probably get you up to 100 fairly easily at this point. We, we would be carrying you, right? We'd be, you wouldn't be doing much yeah, <laughs> until that point. Yeah, but I wouldn't be point. doing anything. That's, but that's it, what it's it, been it's, the last couple of times. <clears throat> I don't, it's just, you know... I pick the rogue and you're like, yeah, you're gonna be good, and then turns out the rogue's just trash garbage and I can't do shit. Mm -hmm. And so it's just, yeah, that's that. I don't appreciate. That's not enjoyable when I, it gets to the point where I'm like, okay, I have to have three friends who are way more better now, than I am. Inside. Yeah, just so you can get the gear to make you better. Yeah, and then so that you can be field. one of the people. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, there, there, there is some. There is some stupid hoop nannery. Like I, I look at some of these people that are just like completely dedicated to min maxing and spending a bajillion hours on this, and they're like, they're like showing their character, and they're like two hundred and forty six thousand attack power. I'm like, how, how did you? I yeah, and then, I don't too. It's how. Just the, it's so un unforgiving with your your stats and stuff. To, you can change like one thing maybe or whatever and then you just you have to just go out and hope so much to just get something decent that yeah rolls and it's correctly. like and that they changed it like so you used to only get like 925 item power from like Duriel and the world bosses right you never ever found it otherwise and so that was boring before because it was like I have to farm all this bullshit to, to get to the one guy, or I have to wait 17 hours to get to the other guy. But they now basically, if you do like a, if you do like a nightmare dungeon, like 80 or higher, everything that drops is 925. So there's a there's a better way okay. to get good item power items, but you still are then wading through all the trash because they're rolling stuff like. The, all four of the available stats have now rolled as like plus two to skills you don't use. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how about damage to close? Okay, maybe. How about damage to far away? Yeah. Wait, but no, I do damage to close. How about damage to injured? Uh, well, that doesn't help when they're healthy. Okay, well, how about damage to healthy? Well, I mean, that doesn't help when they're injured. Then. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's all this stupid, stupid stuff. Yeah. I'll probably end up coming back like. <clears throat> I'll probably make an effort later because it's just they'll get there eventually because they did with Diablo 3. Yeah. But right now it's just like you said, it's like I have to spend a shitload of hours just to get to the point where I can have a chance at getting the gear that I need. And then if it doesn't drop, I'm effed. And if it does drop, the chances of me getting a version of it that I actually want are also crap. So yes. it's just. And, and there's a there's there's a there's a theme here with the seasons. Season one, dog shit. Good learnings 
and a chance to modify things from season one came out of that, but that's about it. Season two, different team, fantastic season. The vampire one, kind of corny theme, but ended up being really good. The vampire uh, powers were I, like, I didn't mind the vampire solid. one. It was more, it was more that I was the rogue and the rogue turned out to not be good that time. Yeah. And then we're back to season three, same team as season one, pretty much dog shit season. Huh. They, they've, there's been improvements to the game that are not related specifically to the season that have, have made it better, like a little bit better on some of the class balance stuff and some mm -hmm. like where you can get items and things. But the season itself is pretty, pretty terrible. The pet doesn't do hardly any damage oh. unless you get the specific unique stone things that you can't get because yes. you have to get them from the stupid uber boss and you can't yeah. really beat him unless you already have them. anyway um but looking at the future season four season four in my mind will be called the season of itemization because they're making a massive change to itemization for season four Okay. That's what that's what they've promised, and that's what they they are dedicated to do. Is that there is changes to how itemization works in season four. Um, so, and, and that one they've actually reached out to people who play the game and do content on the game, mm -hmm. and they're like, "We need help with what? What do you guys? What, what do you think people want to see?" with itemization changes. And so they've they're been doing okay. some collab stuff with them. So that's actually good because like all that the streamers are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why don't I have a loot filter? Why can't I craft items like I could in D3? Like why why can't I have the blacksmith build yeah. me an item that has a roll roll a random set of like random set of a small number of stats that are prevalent to my character. I also kind of, one of the other things is that it just, I want the armory back. It's yeah. such a pain in the ass to change what you're doing. And that's yes. what I liked about Diablo 3. It was literally just basically go in, change your armory, and then all you have to do is change like four things in your Paragon, and then you're a whole different build. Well, e even in that armory, if you... I think they did change it so the Paragon doesn't change anymore, but the old, when they first did it, the Paragon stuff changed as well. So it changed your armor and, and weapons and shit, your skills, your cube, and your Paragon. But it was like, why can't we have that? That's so yeah. easy to do. <laughs> you did <Why>? it before. <laughs> why is it such a pain in the Basically, I, I think the, the best way to roll it down is that it's why is it such a pain in the, the ass to do anything in this yes. game? Why does everything have to cost me so much money at the beginning when they first released it? Why does it why does it have to be like this? Yes. Why is it so resource heavy just to change a stat on an item and it's just a pain in the ass to get those resources? Yeah, and and why is it that I can't see like they they were I remember them talking they were going to like if you re-roll the stat, they were going to tell you a list of what that new stat yeah. could roll as. Yeah, where where is that? Why is that it's not, not there? It's not there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm 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 really hoping for good things out of season four because it's the same team that did season two. So I hope the theme is good, and then they're also making itemization changes, which will also be good. I, I think a loot filter would be kind of cool if they can't do, like if they can't do. Um, uh, a loop filter at least drop it to where that like very similar to class specific roles for stats right i don't want to roll intelligence on a barbarian <laughs> i don't need he doesn't that. need to be smart at all ever <laughs> not giving right. you what i need yeah and there's just too many like i think a lot of people have said there's too many things it's like well you'll do damage on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. because of this stat. Like, that's that's how the stat is. Like, I don't know, you might do damage, maybe sometime if the perfect roll happens in the yeah. calculator. Oh yeah, they're like, here's your entire, your entire hopes and dreams are built on a crit chance that has to roll a lucky hit. <clears throat> yes. 
Mm. Yeah, lucky, lucky hit to me is the dumbest thing I think I've ever seen in this yeah. game. What the hell is wrong with crit chance? Is that not a lucky hit or something? Or <clears> just... <laughs> yeah. In a game um, like this, when they don't actually have weak spots that you hit, it's kind of just a lucky hit to get a crit. That's what it yeah. is. Um, good news is, though, that the 29th, there's a campfire chat, and it sounds like they are bringing vampire powers back into the, this season, like they have done. Like So now you can get the malignant rings, and maybe it sounds like we'll be able to get some versions of, like, the popular vampire powers in some sort of aspect -y way, um, which will be good, which will make it better. But like, season's honestly, so bad that we're rolling it back to the last season. Yeah, yeah. So, and I mean, they did this in season two. They were like halfway through. They were like, ah, oh, we're bringing back the malignant rings because these were, people liked them so much. I'm like, I didn't like any of the malignant no, powers. No, malignant stuff was boring. <laughs> I was just a like pain in the butt. <laughs> the powers that they showed, like for the Barbarian, I'm like, I never even saw that in the season. So I had no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but they're bringing that back, and I guess there's the gauntlet and leaderboards is supposedly coming at some point. But they also had this other thing that was called like trials that they that seemed like a separate end game thing, which may, I guess maybe that'll be okay. But season four will probably be fine. Um, they did change it so and this doesn't apply to us normal plebs but now for all those people who farm and grind endlessly and have an overabundance of uber uniques <laughs> and time, if, and time <laughs> if you salvage them you get a new crafting material and so if you basically if you get five uber uniques that you don't use which is odd <laughs> you can salvage them and then you can you can basically craft the one uber unique that you want oh, right God. so they, they they added that and they said that they upped the chance for uber uniques to drop outside of these like set boss people or whatever mm -hmm. by like a thousand percent but that still is probably only like a one percent chance for more that's <laughs> probably another one of the things that is what is different is even if it was small you could just randomly get something really good mm -hmm. like in diablo 3 you just be like, i just killed a random fallen and, it, <laughs> and i got a primal agent right yeah he got and I got the thing that I was wanting. I, I don't. <laughs> or like in Diablo two, you could kill just like an imp or whatever, and you would get a chance. It would. It could be a fucking unique item. You're like, oh yeah. wow, didn't even uh, didn't, didn't even realize that was possible. Didn't even. Why did this guy have this? So that's why it was so hard. Is nobody yeah. was looking for this little idiot. Yeah. So they yeah they they upped the chance of it outside of those set boss type of farming things you can still have a higher you still have a higher chance in those ones um because i have one uber unique this is the first and only uber unique that i have found in this game since the launch of the game i believe i have not found one also i, I mostly because joe, i'm pretty sure i have no idea what they look like even yeah it's just joe joe has one and when I asked Becca the other day if she wanted to hop on, they were like gonna go to a friend's house at one. They, she hurried and hopped on, and she got one. She got, she got the grandfather, and I about shit my pants because that's like the one that you really really want as a barbarian, even a necro, because it's like <laughs> the best part about the best part about the grandfather in Diablo 4 is that the <laughs> the unique affix for it it says. This item can roll stats higher than normal. And small the test. It so can like, just be better than normal, is what yeah, it is. So so if you had a, a two-handed sword and you, it rolled, you know, strength or whatever, that has a cap on it when you mm -hmm. max it out. Like if it's 925 and you max it out, there's a cap. The grandfather will just roll more strength than that can roll. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's what it does. And she was just like, we we killed Duriel, and she was like Oh, unique two-handed sword? I'm like, you fucking didn't. If you did. She's like, I, which one is that one? And I'm like, it's the grandfather. And she opens up her inventory. Sure enough, it's the grandfather. God well, damn it. you know how that guy is. Yeah. He's just better than all of us. Yeah. So, between the people I know that play this game, three of them have uber uniques, but 
to be fair, you don't play it nearly as much as Becca, Joe, and I do, which is fine. But they say like if I you, felt like you there was know. an honest chance I could get one, then maybe I might. <laughs> well, there, there is. It's just a freaking pain. Like we had, it was like I well, well I had time. I went and I farmed the materials to go do the runs, and then I invited Becca and Joe to do the runs with me, and then we combined our powers on who had what stats to make any additional runs. Right. That's all it was. But we had to, like, the first time we tried it, we couldn't do it. We had to invite some rando. <laughs> We're like, Does, can anyone big bonk this bastard for us? <laughs> yeah, that's, see, that's the, that's the thing. I don't want to have to live that life. I know. <laughs> I shouldn't have to ask that. <laughs> yeah. I, I should be the one that people ask to do that. I should it, not have yeah. to ask for it. It's, I, I want to... I want to do Nephilim riffs where it's like, okay, yeah, look, I'm I'm rocking a 118, and then when I ask other people, it gets harder to do, and that's yes. the challenge. Not that, hey, can you do this for me because I'm a weak shit? Yeah. Two repair kits remaining. And I'm never gonna get out of this this hell hole of weakness without you. Yes. Exactly. So hopefully, hopefully season four is better, and I'm curious how things are going to go with the expansion. That will, def that will bring me in a lot more because it's it's new story content, and that's what I like to... That's, I mean, this, that's also, is it's like, here's the new, the new season, and there's added, like, little seasonal story, but it's all garbage. It's yeah. just the same thing. It's you find <clears throat> a random person doing random thing, and then you get in inadvertently involved. Yes. It's just, it's not interesting. Yeah, because you happen to express your curiosity as to why somebody was making an ass of themselves in town, you yeah. now are on this quest to cleanse the diaper of this person's yeah. master. It's just like, what the <laughs> hell am I doing? Why am I even, <clears throat> why would I even bother? Like, I mean, if when they introduced this, like, this season, they made some attempt at tying things in with Zoltan Cool, because he's part of this constructy thing, yeah. I guess. I, and I was really hopeful that there was going to be like un Might have enough that I wanted to listen to it, and I still didn't listen to it. It was just this, yeah. this his Zoltan Cool's boyfriend, who was like, ah, I, I wanted to do things my way, and he wanted to do things his way, and we had a disagreement. Man, now I'm yeah. trapped in a well. It was really, like it that. really yeah. I, I listened to him like for the first little period of it, and then I just started skipping all his dialogue. I was just don't yeah. Care. I was like, dude, I don't care what you have to say. Like, and then it was like, you find a Zoltan Cool's journals. Well, that'd be interesting. Well, you have to do special things to find his journals. All right, never mind. I'm out. Oh, and doing those special things to find his journals, I have not found his journals, so I have no idea yeah. what his journals like, are. It's about. a random drop for a very specific thing for Zoltan Cool's journals. Yeah. Like, all right. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go play Diablo three again because I can. He, he won't shut up in that one. Yeah, I, I can. I can hear all the backstory just by clicking on the box. <laughs> yeah. And I can kill him. <clears throat> yes. If I get mad at him, I can destroy him. Yeah. So I, it's. I'm, I'm hoping. You know, they, like with the vampire thing. I think they had a little more. I paid more attention to it, but I still was looking for the where's the tie-in to this. What, what's the reason that I'm doing this? Is like, you're just saying that like, oh, these things have existed in Sanctuary this whole time. And suddenly we, now it's a problem. We've never, never heard of them in the last three games. <laughs> Why now? <laughs> it's it's unfortunately it is it does in fact have a whiff of well because it's what it is it's an MMO which which I've told people my problem with MMOs is that you are the one hero who can do everything right and solve all the problems and also these other 50,000 people. And then in addition once you solve the problem it didn't actually change anything. No. Yeah, you literally you're like, I saved the world from a demon. And they're like, okay, cool. Well, things still suck. Yeah. Still there. Demon's still there. Yeah, problems still exist. Nothing's better. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm, I, I, I think it, it will get better. Yeah. I think they need to uh, push less on the... Like, I, like, they finally had, like, they've got cosmetics in here that are good, but I noticed a drastic change in the battle pass from last season to this season in terms of how much, how many things you got from the free version of the battle pass versus this season. Like, well, I remember last... seeing someone post something about the, the, like you spend thirty bucks for the portals. Oh yeah, you they wanted those. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, and and it's and you can't pick whatever portal you want. You have a specific portal for each character, which is why there's five yeah. portals. So if you really wanted the blue one for your barbarian, and that's what you play, you're fucked because yes, you can't use that one. <laughs> Sorry, I just blew up the giant flying pine cone spider. And it moved into slow-mo. That guy was but like, tough. Yeah, like if I looked at the 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 season the battle pass, the free version, <clears throat> I think you get to claim the smoldering ash and like four things. Like there's literally like no oh yeah, no cosmetic rewards, no uh, emote awards, nothing. Well, and and also, last like, season, it was like 50-50 split. Well, the cosmetics and all the seasons are all the same for the free stuff. It's the same clothes that you got on the last one. It's, I, I swear it is. It's the exact... The first, like, things you get for armor, they're all the exact same things. They're like, here you go. That's all. Well, this, this one... They got this weird, like, renaissance pirate thing and it, it has zero it's not even close to the theme of the season like at all yeah so let's see <clears throat> i'm going to scroll through here i'm going to count the number of free items you get out of all the tiers in this here uh, battle pass here so you get an artificer's shirt you get a bow cosmetic and smoldering ash. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No one's ever used it to launch themselves before. One, two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five. This lady just put me in a big barrel and is going to launch me through a thing and then right after I got in it she's like you know what no one's ever done this before and come out in one piece <laughs> assholes and everybody keeps talking about my boss and telling me that they feel sorry for me okay so you get 28 free things out of how many tiers we got here. Out of the 90 items that you can get, 28 of them come on the free pass. Yes. And 14 of those 28 items are the smoldering ashes. So, the, so really so, it's 14 items. So you get items. 14 items and one, two, three, probably like Eight of them are the weird cosmetic, and it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my well, life. Yeah, but yeah, like, so it's you like play free pleb. Yeah, but there's armor in there that actually looks like armor for the season, it's here, and which is one thing I've wanted. I'm like, I want like, where is this armor that is made of steel? I don't want to wear a leather tunic. Oh my god, that too. Yeah. This is like, a barbarian. Like you get not barbarian. Uh, the the druid. You get to wear shit you found in the woods. Yes. But I want to look cool. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Druids are never cool. <laughs> druids are not cool. You they wear cannot. shit that's in the woods. Can I at least lose some weight? No, 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 no. That's how that's did I get this fat? Four, six, two, that's 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 off the table. Why am I like this? when all the other druids that I meet in the game are not. 
Why am yeah, I the it, fattest druid? Looks like you've made and it, it's like, okay, there's a rogue armor you can buy from the shop that has steel on it. It's a mix of steel and leather. And the helmet is just a burning skull with a metal faceplate. Like right? no, that's, 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 it's, it's, it's just Skull Rider. It's, it's, it's Skull Rider, right? It's pretty cool. Or whatever his name is. is, is, is it's Skull Rider? I can't remember. It's, it's Nicolas Cage. It's a Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, that's what it's called. But it's it's essentially Ghost Rider armor, right? And then I look at the... Registration number R23. Like, then I go to the Call Druid. Raven. And Your this armor is... He looks like he was thrown into a willow tree and came out with the bark on him. These correspond to the right. middle ranks. Yeah, like, this is... This we invite you to stupid. further home your this? technique. Why? Why is everything awful? Why is this? And if you buy, like... What is it? Uh, I was looking into the arena and I discovered some of a Jillian platinum. They're like, oh, then you you just get a free horse cosmetic. No about its like so, is is am I am I paying six? And it's like fifty nine ninety nine for that level. And it's, so people are like, am I paying sixty dollars for the horse? Or if, uh, if it's just, I'm buying 60 platinum for other things, I get the horse. Seems like I'm paying $60 for a horse <laughs> for the game. <laughs> it sounds like I'm buying like, no, a horse. No, we're just saying if you put, you know, s this much platinum into your, your online whatever, then we're going to give you a horse. Right. It sounds like I'm paying $60 for a horse with extra steps. <laughs> yeah. Buying a horse with Disney dollars. Yes, Disney bucks. Fun bucks. Oh, I need to refill my sippy. I shall return. Oh, you do. Oh, God, no. Know what I'm looking at with all of these. Boost speed goes up. <sighs> attitude, attitude, ability. I mean, this one's got a lot of blue. <laughs> My AP goes up. But it's a box. Chunk. A lot of, a lot of big numbers. This one. Do it. Sure. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program number twenty-two. Entering rank D. Give me that rank D. Oh. Subject AC, wow. Lee Long. His Call name's Little Long. Gun three. Lee Long. Is this I'm an gonna AI kick your player or an actual? It's a, yeah, it's AI. Hmm. You can do, it just unlocked for me the the nor, the versus people one, but. Uh, PVP. I, mean, I can, I, I, don't, I don't know how to optimize for this game, so I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Gadunk! Ah, oh, dodged it. My most powerful Gadunk. Yeah. Ow! 
the hell was that thing that he did? It, like, pooped me. So I'm pretty sure with the with the ball is a uh, is a lot of keeping my hip out of the way and a lot of keeping my arm straight is my is my deal. Mm. Yeah. Keep Good making sure that I'm not bending my arm when I release the ball. Straight arm on release and really making sure that that hip, a goddamn birthing hip, stays out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> the kid and child bearing hips. <laughs> child. I know. That's a child bearing know. woman bowling right there. I, I know in theory, look, I'm throwing a ball and I know what my hips are thinking I'm doing, but it's a different ball. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was getting. The second game I did a 110. I just couldn't convert any to spares on that one. Mm. Just couldn't. I just couldn't get them. But overall, it was too above the average, which has been like a 105 or a 106. So oh, that's good. So hopefully I'll be prepared to show off to the to the nonchalant Nickaboos. Yeah. <laughs> Nicky's the, still just throwing the, the ball with it's two just, hands to the I just floor. throw the ball. <laughs> she's still just like... <laughs> she acts like she's not strong enough to do a full swing. We all know different. Yes. She's just putting it on a dainty show for the, for the one time the someone tries to rob her in an alley and she can kill them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this guy's got some birth and hips. Oh, wow. AC, candle ring. That's a that's a mama. Bring Freddy. Commencing evaluation. Gonna mess you up, Ring Freddy. Activating combat mode. Oh yeah, so I've got I've got two two ideas that are gonna get flushed out for Dave later mm -hmm. for scripts. But then, uh, after all this whole thing, I was like, now I have another one. I could just shit on Google. Yeah. Because <laughs> they decided to tick me off with this crap. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God! These birthing hips. These birthing hips, they're so thick. How is it so fast with those hips? Uh, ah, no, a mother's love. Just like Voldemort. Yeah. I found out because I tried to go bowling yesterday. But, uh, like, apparently after six during out, throughout the, the normal week, just about, that's when all the, the leagues start yeah. happening so i got there they're like it'll be a 40 minute wait it's like oh what's what's going on the guy's like yeah it's it's, it's the all women's league right now it's like oh god i was wondering it's, it's like it's a wednesday what's going on oh yeah um Teresa would have been there from ge uh yeah. who did our inventory management for the maintenance team Teresa riggs she's on the bowling team she told me wednesday nights or anything in their league is because I asked her if I could be on their bowling team <laughs> it'd probably be a detriment to be honest <laughs> hey, come on you guys are you're better than me <laughs> do you think do you think bowling is 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 a, is probably one of the few I guess gender agnostic sports you can really get around like is there yeah. an actual difference between a male bowler and a female bowler I don't think so. I, I, think I can't imagine you, there's you, a huge. One. I think either side can be just as amazing or just as awful. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine that there is that much of a difference between between a male and a female bowler. <laughs> like, because because I mean, I'm sure people have looked at me throw the ball and been like, "Oh wow, he actually like knows what to." He's a bowler, and then they see the score and they're like, "Wait, but it's like 90." How, <laughs> how is that? He never plus? hits them all. It. Why does he? Yeah. <laughs> Why is he putting all that effort in to look like he knows what he's doing? If he's just yeah. not going to hit the pins. <laughs> no, that's that's. Listen, you hit him more than me. I think I look way way worse. <laughs> I've got a I've got a warm up. I've got a lead up, <laughs> like longer than the Second World War. It's awful. Oh, I 
Like, look, he's he's looking so hard at the pins. What's he thinking? What's he? So don't wiggle the hips. Yeah. There was a there was an Asian dude I saw down there one time, and he uh, was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. But I let it slide because the frames went like this. It went first frame like an eight and a one. Mm -hmm. Second frame was a nine spare, and then it was strike, 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 strike. Bolt, <laughs> bolt, bolt like a like a two forty six. <laughs> and if you watched this guy, he was he was about five four, Asian dude. He would walk up. He'd pick the ball up out of the rack. And there was no wind up. It was a fluid motion. He never, when he picked the ball up, he didn't he didn't stop walking. He just walked up, grabbed the ball, and kept walking. And then was the most like lazy, just like drop the ball onto the floor. And it was right. And I'm like, how the hell? <laughs> what in the name? <laughs> Why am I even thinking about what I'm doing? This dude is literally just walking up and like in passing, pulling gummy bears off the shelf for his shopping cart and just dropping the ball on the floor and it's getting a strike. This guy knows something I don't. He's like, <laughs> like a Zen master. <laughs> and like he had his kids there and like they were like doing the full like spinny, holy what's a doozy and he just walk up, punk, and, like what Nikki does. <laughs> <laughs> the, the nonchalance. You can't just like, the nonchalance. It's like, what the hell? Ow. Impossible. Impossible. Oh, this guy is wrecking me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm watching a video here of Rob2628, who is German, and he plays Diablo 4 very good. He's very strong. He's Finds all the gear and this barbarian is amazing. Anyway, people have been data mining the new the new um, expansion okay. <laughs> because Blizzard, in their infinite uh, intelligence and uh, skills at being a company, they there was like. The, the, there was the early like end game beta that like mm -hmm. you had to be invited to play, right? So like the one that Joe did before the actual like beta that we did. Yep. Anyway, there was an encryption key that they used when they let people access this, right? So apparently, <laughs> on the Vessel of Hatred, which is the new expansion, they just didn't bother to change the encryption key. So, so people were able to access the game files. So they pulled out all the information from what's in or what's coming out with the new, the new expansion. Well, good for so they're, Good job, Blizzard. <laughs> good job. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> so they're going through like the new character, and there's like looks like we're seeing like Lacuni from D3. Those enemies coming into mm -hmm. play. Um. There's new skills for the classes, like Barbarian's got like Weapon Throw, and there's like a Necromancer's like Death Onslaught, so there's like, there's new skills that are coming to the game for each class, which is cool. And so is the new class passes. just that silly Blood Warrior thing from the mobile game? No, um, it's the Spiritborn, and it's like a... Um, looks to be like a one-handed like spear and shield type of unit. Mm, a um, <laughs> similar to, I, I think it's like a hybrid between, it almost feels like a hybrid between a paladin and an Amazon. Uh, a paladon. An asthma. An Asmodon. An Asmodon. Oh, it's Asmodan from, from it's, D3. Oh, it's just okay. Asmodon. You just get to play an Asmodon. Okay, get it. Um, but it's like. There's Why some, can't I have it, what I want? You know what I want, Blizzard. Give it to me. It's almost. But there's some weird aspects of it that's like. 
it's like witch doctor amazon paladin crusader thing i just want i, I don't my, know my thorn sader you bastards give me it's what the, i want it's called the spirit born so i don't i don't know it's earth wind and fire <laughs> It was a Diablo character. It's a, it's a freaking yeah. It's it's an air. It's a it's an airbender. Captain Planet. That's what it is. <laughs> Captain Planet. Oh, this guy's energy boy, huh? You want to play with swords? Also, this artillery round. Ooh, looks like maybe some raids. Ooh, that might be. Really missing on these dodges here. Oh, really bad. Hmm. Maybe the expansion would be would be AP at worth it. Maybe it'd be a good thing. I, well, I hope it is. Do I get to kill Mephisto now? <laughs> I, he has to be in the next season. Like there, there is no other option. He's the guy that we're going after, right? He probably fucking finally. Can I kill that idiot Nayrell. kid? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, like, I want to, I want to have the option that okay, I'm, I'm in the new game. Mephisto's the guy that we're trying to take out, and we get to the point where we're about to start the fight, and he explains that he twisted and destroyed and mutilated Nayrell's body in extreme pain and agony and made her suffer for 37 hours straight. Yes, all sorts of nonsense. And your new option is. You have a selection of, I oppose what you did, or I want to be on your team and destroy her body even further. <laughs> I Let want me... to be able to join forces with Mephisto and big bonk the shit out of Nayrail because she is the absolute Let me worst. Herb stomp this idiot kid who decided, I'm the best person to take the soul stone of a lord of goddamn hell on a boat. Yeah. Definitely couldn't be anybody else. I, if they can't give me that, at least when I go to the dummy training thing in Kyovashad, let, let the be dummy be Nayrell. <laughs> I'll pay 60 bucks for the Nayrell dummy. And and if yeah. you're not hitting her constantly, she starts talking. <laughs> it really helps you work up the training for it. Yeah. I want to destroy her. The fact, so stupid. The fact that Lorath didn't take her uh, infected arm off at the neck yeah. still irks me to this day. <laughs> Lorath, I have a suggestion. What is that? We should tourniquet her throat. Wait, yeah. What? <laughs> no, hear me out. It's a good idea. Well, tourniquet should only be on for a certain number of hours. Yeah, that number of hours, I'd like to um, leave it on for double what that safe Zone is. I'm fairly positive that putting it on her throat for any number of hours will succeed in my goal. Yeah. Your goal being for her to die? You know me like a book, Lorath. You read me like a book. Lorath, you you don't even read... You weren't here for most of it. You didn't have to deal with her bullshit, okay? All you did was cut her hand off, okay? And yeah. I applaud you for doing that. <laughs> You've it, done more than I have, my man. The problem is, is that her hand was being governed by her brain that got her into this situation. <laughs> you should have taken it out at the source. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this, it's kind of it's kind of like cutting, cut just cutting bits of the cancer out and not really getting rid of the main problem there. You know. Yeah. You're maintaining the disease. You're not curing it. <laughs> Goddamn corporate America. It's <laughs> it's healthcare. Because <laughs> you're so stupid. I hate. Kids in media, in all media, children mm. are the worst. <clears throat> yes. They just decide things because they think they're the best. It's the ah! <laughs> no, I know what's the best. The adults are wrong. There, you, the literal embodiment of power on the plane, having just killed the daughter of hatred. Surely you could have an opinion. No, it's me and me alone. Or hear me out. <laughs> What about Lorath? You know, one of the Haradrim. 
<laughs> yeah. Nope, it's gotta be me. <clears throat> okay, okay, good, good counter argument. Um, now, now, wasn't it? Uh, let's just look back a little bit. Uh, Mayrail was, was was your mother not the one that let Lilith through to do all this nonsense? Was that not her? We didn't kill her, right? Oh no, we did. That's right, yeah. right. Um, this all yeah. worked out for the normies, doesn't it? Gonna go ahead and say you can't be trusted. Let's look at a little bit of history here. <clears throat> um, Adria the witch fucked. Um, Aiden with Diablo's soul stone in his forehead birthed a child with the sole purpose of allowing Diablo to come back. Let's see. Your mother helped Mephisto's daughter get what she wants. Nah, no, we're not going to do this, Nero. Yeah, no. we, we just not do this again. <laughs> yeah. I have many problems with many of your ideas. Yeah. Many being all of them. Yeah. God, they just suck. I mean, there's got to be one in every game. There's a character in every game that everyone it, just hates and despises. Well, it's not even just games. It's, it's literally any form of media that is aimed at kids and, like, teenagers. It's, it's always the same shit. It's always the, I'm not... This problem could have been solved if I just spoke to somebody, if I just said something, if I was just vocal about my issues. But no. No. <laughs> no one understands me. I have to do it myself. Fuck all of you, I'm gonna be right in the end. <laughs> a woman wrote nearly, she wrote, Harry, the first five books of Harry Potter are literally that. There is <laughs> the same concept. It's just, if they had just shut up and been kids and listened, none of that would have happened. But no, because they're like, mm, mm, strong, independent child. No, I have to go find the giant snake in the sewers. That's me. It's this guy. Also, <clears throat> how come if, if uh, Basilisk Venom could destroy the diary, why is it that when that big toothy bastard put its fang into Harry's arm, who is basically a horcrux, why didn't that kill the other horcrux? There you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter mm -hmm. was a horcrux. See? He's got one in it. He had to be killed by Voldemort in order to kill the Horcrux, right? That should have sorted that out. They should have. It, it, there's only a couple of things that can get rid of him, right? That's what they said. Yeah. And one of them was directly injected right into his fucking arm. Yeah. It's all right? the same thing. It's always He should have exploded with the black goo from um, uh, Alien uh, Covenant or whatever. The same stuff, man. Should have been bursting out of him. Uh, but no, oh, no, oh, that didn't happen. No, because... No, because a, a freaking fire chicken came over and cried into his armpit. Now he's fine. Yep. A damn fire chicken. Oh, don't get me started on dealing with the fire chickens from Hogwarts Legacy. God damn it, Deke. <laughs> Deke wants you to go find fire chicken so Deke can breed it. No, Deke. I swear Deke. to God. <laughs> Deke, you can't breed with that. Why not? Because you only have one of them and you're trying to breed with it. <laughs> Deke is emotionally invested into the fire chicken. <laughs> Please, God Deke, I Deke. don't want to breed animals anymore. <laughs> this game is for children. Needs to be done. Deke was the worst. I hated that so much. It just felt so gross. <laughs> it's because of how creepy he is. Deke wants to teach you about breeding. Deke! I swear to God. Target destroyed. This nah. includes D rank evaluation. Well done. I did, I did finish that game. The Hogwarts? Yeah. Mm. I got to, I got to what I thought was the, kind of the ending of it, and I just streamed it for like six hours. And I finished did it. You, did you learn Cavarda a Barbara? Of course I did. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> the, be, the, the coolest thing in that game is, is a, is a setup for your passives that I f saw early on, where 
you can do a thing where it's like, if you do this, yada, yada, it adds... A curse is kind of like it is in Diablo. It's just like a, a debuff mm -hmm. on them. So you get a thing where it's like, you do this, and then all of a sudden it curses other people and stuff. And so you can get a thing where you mass curse people, basically. And then oh, you nice. get a, a, an affix for Avada Kedavra that's, it kills every cursed enemy in the vicinity. <laughs> so you you can just kill five people with one cast of this spell. It'll just chain lightning to all of them and they all die. It's like so it. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so good. I love it. So that's what I would do. I'd just set up da 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 you're all cursed. <laughs> and then they would all die. Just death. <laughs> <laughs> you're all dead. And <laughs> problem solved. It's so messed up. I, did, I was pissed though, because my favorite character died in the end. Oh. The last big fight. Yeah. Biggie. You think that's one of those, uh, is that a always thing, you think? Every yeah. person who plays it, that same yeah. character dies? I, I, it's story. Ah. Professor he Fate can. has to die. Yeah. Biggie was the best. He believed in me, goddammit. He believed in me. <laughs> I miss Biggie. <laughs> Damage mitigation! All of my points into damage mitigation. And repair kit. Explosive uh, energy, melee damage, I can't do it as access speed. Sure. 50% access speed. Anyway. There. I'm the most becoming more purple with every passing day. Dirk Bullswagon. That's what I named my guy. I totally forgot. Dirk Bullswagon. Classic. Classic hero. Everybody saw my name. They said, you know what? We're just going to call you Raven. How about that? <laughs> Anything I can do to not have to say Dirk Bullswagon. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up here a little early. I can go get some okay. food because I started a little late. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yep, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Go, go tell go tell everybody in Holland, Michigan about Dave. Yeah. Maybe check oh. out Dave. Seem, they seem like nice people. Seem like Dave people. Seem <laughs> enjoy it. Kind of Dave type of person. Yeah. I have All some right. I, I have some ideas that actually I might need. Like your help filming because mm -hmm. I have some ideas of how to make Ken even more creepy uh, I guess. but it kind of involves him being on screen at the same time as Dave uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might need extra hands I have two of them I just I just want I want I have this idea of Dave like sitting at the computer doing stuff and in the background you just see Ken out of focus slowly randomly getting closer and closer to him <laughs> and then he's just gonna appear right in front of him and like leave a banana on the table and disappear with no explanation and just, <laughs> just like ah! <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> why, why, why what is this what, what does it do it's a, what it's do a i banana. do <laughs> ah! <laughs> really reconsidering letting him loose in my home <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Thanks know. for popping in. Appreciate yeah. it. Catch you on the next one. Yeah. See ya. Hopefully we'll get back to it. And uh, thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. I hope you had a wonderful time. If you did, please consider following the channel. It means a lot. It helps out a lot. Check down below for the link to the YouTube channel where all the uh, archives go, as well as all the other socials that are down there. Uh, from there... I'll, I, I'm, I'll plan to add a link soon here, uh, but I'll put it again in the chat. There's the link to the YouTube channel for Dave the Puppet. Go check that out. Let me know what you think. If you like it, please consider you know following it, subscribing to the, the YouTube channel for it. Let me know what you think. If it's not your thing, that's totally fine. You don't have to watch it. But I'd appreciate any uh, any in, in, any positive... In, well, not positive necessarily. I can't force you to say nice things. Any constructive input. So yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay warm. And I will see you tomorrow for another one. Bye-bye-bye.